Well, what's great, but this is roster of the Bur- well, can I really say that anymore? Of the Burbank Misfits. And um, I'm joined with my wonderful, wonderful, new, exciting, uh, brilliant co host, uh, Sarah Lays. Hello, everybody. And welcome to season six of the uh, the Misfit Effect. And um, as you can obviously tell, if you listen to the last two episodes, uh, CW is no longer doing the show with us. So we have a fun and exciting uh, new co-host uh, with me, uh, Sarah Lace. So going forward, she's going to be the person that, you know, brings the cheer, charm, and everything else because she's so fantastic in all that she does. Yeah. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. But today we have yeah. we, we we do have a, a very fun, exciting guest today. Um I have opportunity to speak to her a few times and I know um Miss Lace over here has opportunity to work with her already. But yeah. uh without further ado, we have Miss uh Nina Nova. How are you doing, Miss Nina? I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much for having me on. And Sarah, it's so lovely to be able to see you again. And yeah, I'm just stoked to be able to talk with y'all today. So Yay, Nina, thank you so much. So Nina, please, please, please tell us about yourself. Like you give us, give us, give us the Nina treatment. Give us if we if we if we have not had the opportunity to uh scroll across everything that you do to see like you know everything. What who are you? Oh, I love this question. So I'm Nina Nova. I like to say I'm 20 something uh, per the SZA (laughs) song. Uh, I'm based out of Sin City and I've been in the adult film industry for a year now. And I've been in the adult industry camming on and off since I was in college. So many a year ago, I won't totally date myself. Um, Oh, I I date myself all the time. So I get it. I like to let my fans think what they think, you know? <laughs> like, oh, I get it. I get it. No, no, no. I always, I always tell a girl to say, yeah, I'm a, I'm 23. Please be forever, you know? Yeah. Unless, unless, unless they am, say it. <laughs> I still get 19 to this day, and I'm definitely not 19. And I'm like, okay, I do me. I love that. But anyways, I've been in the adult film industry for about a year now. And I've had the great opportunity to work with studios like Queer Crush, like Brazzers, like Blush Erotica, Cream Pie Kathy, um, Mean Bitches, just a couple to name a few. I've recently had the honor of working alongside like rising star Brenna McKenna and, you know, the amazing star Alex Cole and Rocky Emerson and Penelope Kay. Um, And really in the last year, I've seen my career kind of skyrocket and take me to places I didn't know that I could go, but I had always dreamed I would. Um, And I do work ranging from hardcore to fetish to BDSM to cinematic to... um, a real, real wide range: gang bangs, uh, DVP, boy, girl, 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 girl. So I have a broad everything. range. Yeah, okay. a very broad range. Um, and I've had a really great time this last year in this industry. And yeah, I'm just like hoping I'm on a skyrocket that never keeps, that never stops going up. You know. I'm loving mm-hmm. your cameras moving like when you move. I don't story. know why it does that. I bought a new iPad and I don't go anywhere. It's 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 tra- it's it's tracking. It's like uh yeah. you have a tracker on your on your thing that's scheduled. So every time you move, it's following where your, your movement goes because it has you centered. Great. So now I know I have my ADHD and then I'm fidgety. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yes. no, it's, 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 it's good because like you, you know people just move around, it's kind of like so they're going off to the side. Sometimes you like go off the screen. It's kind of like, okay, you're off the screen, but it's, it's cool though. We, we can still see some of your body, but your camera's just like, you know what? We're going to we're gonna follow her around and, and make sure that she's on uh, the forefront. Yeah, she's <laughs> no joke. <laughs> it's giving my ADHD away glaringly. I, I am a fidgety kind of person. Oh, it's okay. I, be- so, I believe everybody has a little question. bit of but random question, but what are those star balloons you have behind you? They are for my boyfriend. He just had a really amazing moment in his life and I wanted to celebrate him and I'm a cornball. So I Ooh, made okay. sure I balloons. Oh, I love that. He's the same way. He's a cornball for me. He's like, when I had my first Brazzers extra debut, 
<laughs> he literally got me two gold Z balloons and like got me like, a champagne and a whole new champagne flute set just oh, to celebrate so my extra role debut. Like I was just an extra. That's and beautiful. That's that. celebrating like every moment, every milestone that you have that you have done for yourselves and for each other. I mean, Absolutely. I mean, even being an extra, it just like because it's, it's kind of it's kind of like they see how you uh you can react to just being on mm -hmm. set in general, and how like the camera likes you, whatever. And it also adds to the point where like some people will say, "Oh, who's that random girl that's in the in the in the scene with blah 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 blah?" Oh, I like I like to see I like to see what she's working with. Exactly. And I did I did the turn thing on purpose because you know that's how men think. Um, don't judge exactly. me. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. I like that's part of why I'm always so stoked and so honored when I even get to do extra debut like extra roles with Brazzers because one it, it broadens my fan audience like dramatically you know my demographic of who follows me expands I get to meet some of the most amazing performers in the industry who are often if not always just the most genuine and kind and sweet and loving people and then I get to work with the amazing crews out here in Las Vegas including Mellow um, Money Mellow Gang on Instagram um I, who's just an incredible incredible person and i love working with their cast and their crew um so I'll, any extra role given to me that's a celebration and i'm so glad i have a boyfriend who's not in the industry who is able to celebrate that with me and understand the importance right because it is still a big deal i can definitely understand that because i definitely believe that it would be a lot harder to to not just celebrate these wins, but to even have these moments if that person doesn't support you. And I feel like uh, not just with what we do, but just in general, I think we always need a support system. We need someone who has our back. Absolutely. And I find that like having someone who's not in the industry who like gets you, one is rare <laughs> as hell, right? Like we know it's pretty rare that a civilian <laughs> like will totally understand what you're going through. Like that's just not realistic, but having a civilian friend, like a friend who's not in the industry, who like still loves you and sees you for who you are and celebrates you in those moments and supports you is so critical too, because when we're in the industry, we get all caught up there. It's all consuming, right? Like it's so nice to have somebody occasionally that you can turn to for an outside perspective, or I found in my experience that that's been really helpful. Even though my industry pals like carry me through life entirely. I love them. Um, <laughs> sometimes you just need that outside perspective and it's like that outside support that says like no this is what? like dope or this was not cool or this was amazing or yeah one, one exactly big thing, one big thing that i see that a lot of people deal with is once they get in the industry they always say like yeah, it's kind of hard to keep a dude whatever or what have you whatever but it's fantastic that you have somebody that isn't in the mainstream part of it that truly supports you on all that you do because Miss Lance yeah. has that too but like it's it's always good to have someone who's like okay I know this is work you know and I'm mm -hmm. going to applaud all that you do because you're doing what you love and you're growing you're expanding you know you're making you're making yourself happy by doing this whatever you know and I said why are you out there sucking dick you know <laughs> <laughs> exactly no you nailed it though like having somebody who's just genuinely there for you and supports you and like respects your decisions and sees you as an autonomous human being and like all of that can be really rare and to find something like that is so special in this industry in particular like it's it is hard to date but when you find those people those precious gems like it just reminds you, okay, maybe not all of humanity is bad. Maybe there are some good people out there, right? Like maybe not, exactly. maybe there is hope for us all. <laughs> Definitely. Plus I feel like, uh, I think you kind of brushed up on this saying how they give you a different perspective. A lot of times I like to ask Ace and I kind of like show him my content before I upload and be like, okay, you as a man, slash a fan what do you think about this yes 
think I should do something this way or do you think I should do something that way? And he gives me his honest opinion. Like, of course, he still understands that I want to make it cinematic, but he tells me like what a man wants to see. That male gaze, I always, always <laughs> call on my close men, male friends or my boyfriend for that yeah. kind of advice. I'm like, okay, for this wardrobe, should I do this set or this set? Like, tell me with your like male gaze, which one is hotter? Or like, which one of these scenes should I do? I always go to them for that. And it's helpful, especially if they're open about being like clientele themselves. And I have a few male best friends who are open about being like, you know, Johns or like, you know, pursuing sex work services and providers. So knowing yeah. especially what they like and what they're looking for has been so insightful because it's like, oh, you have experience buying too. Like not only are you not industry, but I can talk to you as a customer and like really hear what you're hoping for out of an inter in an interaction with a provider like myself, you know, like how exactly. can I make it better for you? And it's like a, such a cool transformative cyclical kind of like learning relationship for everybody involved. Yeah, I know, like, since I'm a, like, the male perspective, whatever, I know when I'm recording or taking pictures of people, like, sometimes I just, and Sarah probably noticed this, I just pause and just look for a second, like, trying to work it out in my brain about what would I think if I was looking at this? And it's just like I freeze for a second. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that, Sarah. I just be like, yeah. I have noticed that where he's just like, we're talking about something and I'm just like describing an idea and he's just like pauses and he's like actually what about like this and so like so I get what you're saying from the male's perspective because it's kind of like you know because I do watch you know porn off and on but it's kind of hard for me to watch people that I know because I'm like it's like oh I hang out with this person like all the time and it's kind of like being to go back home and be like yeah I watch you all the time it, it just feels it just feels weird, you know. <laughs> but I can I can give the person like you know that perspective of like, okay, yeah, you need to cheat me. You need to cheat out a little more. You need to make sure that uh, you're not looking at the camera a little bit too much, you know. And like, <laughs> yeah. So I get that. So in your like, you've been here for a year. Your short time in the in this in the industry. Um, what could you say you really get to BDSM and King? What have you not did yet that you really want to do on camera? <laughs> I love these questions because I've done some extreme shit already. So it always makes me think a little bit harder. But I haven't done like a lot of extreme like rope bunny kind of play. Like really? I would love to do some more submissive work involving like total suspension via rope. Okay. I think that would be really fantastic and awesome. Um, and I really want to do more submissive work um, that involves like different types of like, you know, fun toys, like fuck machines or what are those called? The electromagnetic like sh sh shockers, like yeah. that kind of stuff. Like I think those kind of like kinky BDSM scenes are really intriguing to me. Um, and also like I've never done I've never done a golden shower or piss play yet. And I feel like <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> like, Ooh, I feel, okay. I feel like it's in my future once I figure out which platforms even allow it. <laughs> but, the only yeah, thing I would say for that question. is to make sure that whoever is doing it is drinking a lot of water. Hydrated. No, they better have a good diet. They're going to be hydrated. I'm going to watch them watch well, I'm going like, yeah, to drink because like. like because what I know, what I, what I know yes. is like Pedialyte or water and um, Clear nothing, Pedialyte. nothing, nothing, <laughs> uh, no, uh, no greenery, like no, uh, like any, any. You know that, a lot about this. No, because like, <laughs> like I, 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 I've recorded people uh, doing it. Okay, I thought you were just secretly really into piss play for a oh, second. Oh no, I, I don't like it. I, I said on the, I said, I said <laughs> I on the. I said on a previous previous podcast, like I was recording someone and I was looking down at my foot to make sure the pee didn't hit my foot. So I was more I was more concerned about my foot than um like I, it was angle strike. Just like I like this why I take pictures of feet. I don't look at the feet, I just take pictures in the in the general vicinity. 
Like the camera was straight on it, but I was looking down at my foot the entire time to avoid uh, <laughs> avoid uh, the spot zone. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the thing is, exactly. is like we had we've had people on that they do a lot. Of, they enjoy giving and receiving, and they were telling me about you know the diet and stuff like that. even somebody someone who has come on the podcast has told us yeah i really like drinking this like they they gave a performer's name i really like enjoy like drinking this person's piss and it was <laughs> yeah there so you know who the person is i'm talking about but <laughs> <laughs> you know yes, i want to i want to be that powerful but i need someone <laughs> with a really good diet Basically, whenever I hear like any kind of kink or fetish that makes me like in my insides like flinch a little bit, I question myself more and I'm like, actually, I want to try that, you know, <laughs> like I just try to like question myself and be like, if it's making me like flinch a little bit, like why? And now I want to try it to see if I like it because people obviously enjoy it for a reason. So like, I feel like I'm a very open person when it comes to kink and fetish, which works out for me quite well, given I do a lot of kink and fetish work. But um, I like have that little weird like flip that turns on in me where I'm like, oh, I feel a little bit of icky. I want to do this. Like, I want to understand. Like, Honestly, I would was, I was say try most things once to see if you enjoy it or not i usually this is my slutty side i usually say try most things twice just in oh, case I've seen it too. <laughs> oh my God. yes because the first time might be a fluke but the second time you know for sure for sure exactly because the first time you know also the first time never goes perfectly you kind of yeah. need a little practice so i would say give it two tries unless <laughs> two tries <laughs> I can see that. But, but have like... you ever been tied up before? Yeah, so I've done partial suspension. When I did my scene with everything but for kink.com, I was able to do partial suspension and I was bound kind of hogtied on a kitchen island, which was fantastic. Okay. Um but when with I did rope, partial with rope with suspension, hi, it was rope. It was rope. Okay. So when I did my partial suspension, I was so stoked. It was in a shower with the shower pouring on me. I was getting Ooh. flogged. It was a really intense, like, partial suspension kind of, like, initiation. But yeah. I, like, really enjoyed it. And I wanted to, I really have a desire to try total suspension and see what that's like. And I know it's such an art. And I love that about it. Like, I love the artistry behind the rope. Um, so I'm really fascinated to get my first like total suspension scene and like actually just watch the rigor, like the rope person work. Like I'm yeah. just so interested in how they make the artistry of the rope. Like it's just really fascinating to me. Like you can suspend me and make me look sexy with my tits popping out. Like, come on. <laughs> Do you think the thing I really like give them credit for is some of them could do it really, really well and it doesn't bruise your skin or leave mm -hmm. that red, that red, uh, that yeah. red, uh, 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 rope burn sensation on your skin afterwards. So, like, you could do the same and then you can go do something else and it doesn't leave like those marks. So, yeah. if you can find a really good one, it'd be better. Um, that can do yeah, that for you, especially for your first one. So, you know. You know how tight you can go after that because of how tight they'll put you in your suspension. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying That's to get the right words. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've only been sus like I've only been fully suspended once, and that was actually at a convention, which was for Exotica. That's so <laughs> cool. Were you yeah. suspended in front of a crowd? Yes, I was. That was pretty awesome. fun. Plus, I have it like I'm an exhibitionist, so that was like pretty fun. Like just to think of, like, sure, I was like fully clothed still, like I had a like a bodysuit, and um, but you know, they still got to see like my booty and stuff. And like at some point, like there was like an ex where I got like flogged on. It was pretty pretty amazing to see like you know, people consenting to go in and be voyeurs, essentially. 
Yeah, no, that's hot as hell. That's hot as hell. That like sounds like a dream to me. Like <laughs> I'm also an exhibitionist. So some shit like that. Like I remember like I played on the motor bunny at AVN last year, which made me feel weird, but they, I saw them wipe it down and do the hygiene sheet. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I got yeah. on the motor bunny and had like a whole crowd of people watching me. And even that I was like, oh, that I'm is a back, loop back around. I'm a loop back around. <laughs> <laughs> this is a blast oh I want to try that not even going to lie oh yeah no it was it was really awesome (laughs) (laughs) sounds so orgasmic though it is (laughs) I think think like because like I I do enjoy voyeurism but it's (laughs) I don't I only I think I more enjoy it when it's a private voyeurism than a public voyeurism. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah, he has watched me do a um what is it? A threesome. I think he's watched a foursome before. What else have you watched me do? Oh my god. <laughs> I've seen you do a threesome, a foursome. Um <laughs> A twosome. <laughs> yeah, so, twosome. And I, I, and I know in February, I don't know, you know what to call it, an orgy. Yeah, so. it'll be a birthday orgy. Ooh, that sounds so much fun. I think, I think you're right. I think you commented on it. Yeah, so oh, it'll be 27 people. Like, not everyone has to participate. It can be like, if you want to be a voyeur as well, like, I think that would be pretty cool too. But I already have um Rockstar is going to be a camera person and then I'm we're gonna have two PAs. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna need to hit you up because that sounds awesome. <laughs> Basically it's gonna look like a like a party. Like a party That's turn so up. Awesome. It's, 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 it's for her birthday. That's so awesome. And literally you deserve that and the world also. So I hope you get both your 27 person orgy and the world delivered to you on a platter for your birthday. I just, I just hate that it started out as a, as a random joke that I said yeah. randomly, jokingly. And then it was like, we should do that. <laughs> Don't you exactly. was, she was, she was saying that it's her last day in LA. What should I do? And I th- jokingly said, a 37 person orgy or a 30 something and she said she said ooh I was like huh (laughs) (laughs) what if exactly it literally started off just with a morning post and turned like turned out to be like a orgy now (laughs) that's wild and exciting (laughs) I love how stuff like that happens. So far, I think there's 15 people on the list that are going. Oh, wow. Halfway there. Yeah, you only need 12 more people. Mm-hmm. Already. That's awesome. I will hit your line for real. If it's in LA, for sure. Oh, so this, yeah, it's, it's going to be in LA. in LA. Look, I will come celebrate your birthday, bring you a gift, and fuck around with some people at Norgie. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like, I, I, I see some of my names on that list, and it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's oh, gonna be oh, it's gonna be a fun one. Yeah, exactly. The after party, the, after party, the, the debriefing, the debriefing, the hanging out, the getting ready, all that part is also like so fun when it's a good group of people. Well, then, then it's gonna be yes. recorded also for uh, anybody who's a part of it that wants to be on camera or mm-hmm. consents consents to be on camera can you know um be on camera whatever and then you don't want to be on camera you can go to the after camera part and you know be on that side of the spectrum mm-hmm. so exactly. oh, you've got a lot of it first have fun after consider this consider everything awesome. <laughs> so so uh question so what what do you what do you do out here for for your fun outside of the industry mm-hmm. for- for, for my what? For Sorry. Fun. For fun. For, for fun. Yeah, I don't fun. Know why I thought you said what I did for my feet. Maybe it's because I'm thinking no, about I w- a I w- interview I have tomorrow. But <laughs> okay, I will say this: like people love feet, and I'm very pedophobic. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> what do I do for fun outside of yeah. the industry? There we go. 
Um, what do I do for fun outside of the industry? I love poetry. I love poetry. I love live music. I am a live music, like, concert goer. Like, if I don't go to a concert a month, like, something is wrong. Somebody needs to call someone. Like, um, I, like, enjoy, I just so enjoy live music. Like, it's my lifeline. So a lot of the time, given that I live in Sin City, I live in Las Vegas, there's always, like, you know, residencies or club events or, you know, concerts out here or in LA. I often travel to LA for concerts. I typically make them like half concert, half work trip. Um, I really spend a lot of my time like thinking about live music. Um, but outside of that, I volunteer with this amazing organization called Suede Las Vegas. Um, they're also in Los Angeles now. They're a mutual aid collective that offers micro grants to sex workers in need. So it's a hundred dollar micro grant a month. If you're in need, you can submit an application. And they also send out harm reduction supplies like Narcan and Plan B to sex workers all across the country. So honestly, like I guess I do advocacy and music and poetry and like creative shit for fun. Um, really anything that will help get my mind out of like sex and I mean not that my poetry and art is not also sex themed it is also <laughs> always sex themed but like out of the like sex Nina porn everything mindset I also try to spend time with like friends especially non-industry friends um just so I have a little bit of like you know diversity and calmness and like you know it's not just always the same exact thing and work 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 um but yeah I guess a, a lot of creative shit and a lot of advocacy work. Yeah, I've given nice. um, I've given money to Suede uh, Vegas before, and I know um, Xander and Summer used to do uh, or used to. I love Xander and Summer. They used to stream on Twitch to raise money for uh, Suede. This is this is during COVID though. This is when everybody was locked down, so they used to go there and support you know that cause, especially because I understand I know people who have used. Uh, Swayed for you know hard hard times, so I get it, and so so yeah, I, I know all about. So I think we had like someone on, and our entire episode was just talking about Swayed Vegas. So they're really dope people. Shout out to them. Yeah, they're dope. But yeah, that's kind of what I do for fun. So I don't you, know my you my new boyfriend portrait? has dogs, so I get to play with dogs now. So do like you, that's fun. Do you uh, like your own poetry, or is it just you know? Uh... Oh, all right. If I tell you mine, you have to tell me yours. Yes, I write poetry. It's just <laughs> I, very vulnerable. I, I, I find one of my old poems. Might take me a second. Oh no 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 no! Oh god no! <laughs> I'm just saying, like I I I have been published. I'm also in another life I have been published too um and I actually no, no. really do like writing poetry and I love spoken word poetry I haven't performed in quite some time now um but I've actually been thinking about performing again so it, it's not just reading it's not just listening it's uh, also writing so um that's a secret though that everyone will know <laughs> now <laughs> because like for example like I don't like there's there's some poems that are really 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 good, but some people sometimes don't know how to deliver it deliver it, even if it's their own poetry. Yeah, but like others had these fantastic poem poems, and it's just like, my God, that that's gonna that's gonna make me have have feels for the next year now because of that, you know. Yeah, so I, yeah. I, I, lo I love I love poetry. I love spoken word. So I get it. Like, I it's love a, it's it. A so, thing. Much. so do I you guys it. like to go to slam jams? I think that's. I do. Called. I like going to slams. I love going to slams. I love going to open mics. But slams are fun. Ooh, I have never been to one. So maybe one of these days you can direct me to one. To yes, to absolutely. There's got to be some good ones in LA for sure, or somewhere. Like I know I've been to a couple good ones here, a couple good ones in San Francisco and the Bay Area and Oakland, stuff like that. Nice. I think I Next to... time I travel, I'll do some touristy th stuff and add that to it. I think I've been to one in LA. Cause I went, I went to like I'm from Indiana. I'm what I'm say that I'm from, I'm from Indiana, and I've been to a lot when I was a. Uh, in Indiana when I was in my yesteryears, when I was much, 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 much younger. 
Uh, before our time. Yeah, bef yeah be <laughs> before, before, yeah. Uh, Y'all are probably still in your teens. Uh, <laughs> before our time. Yeah, yeah we know we know we're still in your teens. I was, or, no shoot. Y'all might have been in y'all single digits. Jesus Christ, I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that's why I always joke about it. But yeah, I mean, it sounds like you just really like to express yourself artistically, like whether it's with sex or without it. Like, Absolutely. it sounds like that's been part of you. Absolutely. I remember I was like doing an icebreaker once and I was like, say a fun fact about yourself. And I was like, well, when I was a kid, I used to be on, uh, I used to want to be on Broadway, but now I'm on Brazzers. And I just like, I always make that joke now. Like, I used to want to be on Broadway, but now I'm on Brazzers. So, you know, like, oh, I guess sing? it works out. Oh my God, that's do, perfect. Do you sing? Huh? I, you... I have sang. I wouldn't know if I'd say I do sing. I think my boyfriend would say I do sing, but I don't sing publicly. <laughs> I totally I mean, get that. I will say this. If you believe that you can hold a single note at any point, you can sing. <laughs> it doesn't mean you it doesn't mean you can sing sing, sing uh an entire song and millions of people might want to buy your record. But if you can hold a <laughs> tone a, a like like a single a single note, if you could if you could sing um uh low rider, not low rider, uh tequila. You know, you good. You know, you one word. If you can hit that tequila every time, every time it's, it's being said, uh, the, the uh, George Lopez thing. If you can sing that, you, you good. You, you perfect. <laughs> I'm trying to think which one he's talking about. No. I'm trying to think so too. Y'all, 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 never, y'all have never seen um, what have y'all ever seen uh, uh Pee Wee Herman dance? That's the song. Oh yeah, that's the key. Oh wait, that song. Okay, if it's that that's song, tequila. Yes. And the only and the only word in there is tequila. That's the only word. The entire song is tequila, and that's the <laughs> Peter Herman song. Like is known for. I mean, if y'all ever seen the opening of George Lopez, it means that y'all been watching Nick at Night, and it says, yeah, <laughs> "Oh right." As, and all he really saying is "Low Rider." If y'all can hold that no. tone or that that beat, like. <laughs> Then you good. All That's right, I'm gonna have to give it a try in the shower. Now y'all thinking like y'all thinking about the song y'all can't think of it now. And I know y'all, right. I know y'all seen George Lopez because everybody, yeah. everybody who just doesn't want to watch it, it still comes on, and you just hear that like you know it all the back that it's George Lopez, the George Lopez show. The amount Whatever. of times I fell asleep to that theme song, and now you can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a concert in the shower. Yeah, I will be having a concert in the shower later for sure. Please. Yeah, I can't. I got. I don't sing in the shower anymore because I just think right now because it's, it's it'd be very very bad. I, I I think I lost my voice a long time ago. I'll do like, it if there's music. If not, like I'm not gonna just sing to myself. I'm awkward. I feel that. I, I like just did karaoke for the first time literally oh. like a couple months ago. I was like, I've never even done karaoke. I'm so shy. But I'm not shy. I'll literally fucking pop my pussy and asshole out on set. But I can't get on stage and sing a song for karaoke. It don't make no sense. It don't well, make no sense. I think it's different. I, I, think it's different. It. I think it's different also because when you're on set and you're doing this and this and this, it's kind of like, like you're with someone else usually. Um, unless you're doing a solo and it's like you're interacting with someone else but then karaoke sometimes you're just by yourself and you're like singing mm. yeah that energetic rise. exchange can help yeah the energetic exchange like knowing there's somebody up there with you like I guess you have a point there but then also but still you're... you'd think I could do karaoke still but then, <laughs> but, 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 but then again like you, you said you enjoy uh you're an exponentialist, so you enjoy people watching you. So that get, that makes you excited in a different way. It makes even less sense now. <laughs> that makes, that makes you, no, no, no. It makes you excited in a different way because it's kind of like, oh, you're watching, you're you're watching me uh 
hop up and down on this ball with a dick attached to it. And it's like, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, I yeah, see. yeah, I yeah, see, yeah, but I yeah. still don't know why the exhibitionism <laughs> wouldn't apply to karaoke too then. Why would no, that no, want because, to be sexually because, singing like Mariah Carey or something? It's different because you're, society, you're, you're on the, you're on the spot for a different thing. So because like, society, when you're, when you're singing, people are listening to your vocals. <laughs> listen, they're listening to your vocals rather than looking at your physical form. All right, you're making points. That's true. Plus, when people are watching porn, they're not necessarily judging. They're there to masturbate, you know? And if they're there to judge, they're kind of just bums. If they're there to just downrate every video and judge and leave shitty comments, like, they're probably just bums. People do that. I know. They make a life out of it. Like, don't get me wrong, I enjoy a good storyline, and if the storyline isn't good, I can't watch it, but I won't say, oh, your performance is bad because you had a bad storyline in order to get to the sex. Yeah. Unless, unless the sex is bad, too, then that's just a different story. Sometimes it's just chemistry, but yeah. I feel like yeah. you can tell. Yeah, I feel I mean, like, like you can tell the difference when it when the when the performance is bad due to lack of chemistry versus the performance being bad just due to them not being good at sex. Yeah. Or sometimes they just don't pay attention to the angles and it just kind of messes with the film. It messes with the experience. That's why I yeah. said cheat out earlier. People, yeah. don't, people don't know how to cheat out. You're like, when I, say, oh, I, don't want, I don't want you to see my titty just yet. Don't yeah. a, you, you don't get a titty. <laughs> no, I've been so much more conscientious about my arms and my everything like the more I've been in the industry like the more mm-hmm. I've had the great like honor of learning from directors and producers and you know like you know PAs and shit like every scene I do I learn something new and I've been so blessed because of it because yeah it's like yeah literally those things matter like blocking your tit or like you know cocking your knee in the wrong way like all of that matters to create a good performance. Yeah, but I find most of the time the people that are rating and leaving comments, they don't care about the performance. They are just there to dog on women for some stupid reason. Well, there, there are some people out exactly. there who exist who all they do normally is try to find performers and then like go through all their stuff and say, well, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. And then they use different profiles to do it. It's the same yeah, people that it's true. the same people that report y'all your uh, IGs or Twitters for you know you could be fully yeah. clothed, fully clothed wearing three summer coats, four sweats, and um, some bunny shoes, whatever, and they'll say, "Oh, this is sexually explicit," even though you you're <laughs> not even showing any type of skin outside of your face. Literally, my safe for work Twitter account got banned because of some bullshit like that. All I had ever posted on my safe for work Twitter account was a photo of me in a cow print fuzzy fur jacket buttoned up and a cow print bucket hat. And I was like smooching. Oh, that was the entire photo. (laughs) But nothing was visible. Nothing. I was literally just bundled up in a coat with a cow print bucket hat on Mm -hmm. and like Apparently that was too sexual. They for they, they, they 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 said they Fitness. said that neck that neck was too much for them. They couldn't handle themselves. That neck, that neck, that neck. That neck. They saw that neck. They said, "Oh my god, that neck! Oh, god. oh my god, the neck!" They're like, oh, the thing she does with that neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. So, Miss Nina, this is a question I bounce around all the time for especially for new people. Who in the industry have you not worked with that you want to work with? Oh my God, there's so many. There's five. so many people. Give, give me, give me your top five. Because Miss okay, Sarah, Miss Lace can't be on a list anymore because you worked with her now. So, who, who's in your top five? Well, okay. Does it count if I've worked with them as an extra, but I want to work with them in a primary, like in a feature? No. Like I haven't worked with them, like in a girl girl or a boy girl scene. Oh no, you know, they, 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 they're, they're still in open contention. Okay, so I would love to work with Alexis Fox. I would love to work with Alexis Tai. So I like Alexis's apparently. Mm-hmm. I, I would love to work with my friend Olive Glass. Oh, I would love God. to work with my friend Xander Corbis. And I would love to work with um, one of my colleagues, Daisy Ducati. 
Ooh, okay. We've yes, done one. Listen. We've done one fetish scene together, and it's not out yet. But I would like to like actually do more content with her. So maybe she's cheating. Yeah. But I love Daisy <laughs> and figured I'd throw her name in the ring. But yeah, those are just some of the people that I'm really interested in filming with one day or having a scene with off the top of the dome. I, there's mm -hmm. so many, like I could sit here and name for hours the people that I would be honored to work with. Um, but those are just some of the people that came to mind immediately. Oh no, it's just like, no, everybody has their top five. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, like Sarah's been Sarah has you know been around for a little bit and she's worked with some of the greatest the best talents and I know she still have five people she was like oh I haven't gotten blah blah yet I know right. I have a very I have a much longer <laughs> list in my notes app that we won't get into <laughs> like I keep uh -huh. trying to, like the collabs and the studios that I really want to shoot with because I have dreams. I be mapping those dreams out. I'm like, I want to shoot with these people as long as they're consensual and willing and excited and also eager to work with me. I want to work mm -hmm. with this person by 2025. I want to work with this yeah, person. Oh, speaking of that, speaking of, I, saw, I, I saw your tweet and I want to say this. You said 2025 is going to be your year. No, say 2024 is going to be your year. Don't, don't waste <laughs> the entire year thinking like, oh, next year is not going to be great. Like, You're like, so oh. damn right. That's pretty true. That you're so damn yeah, right. Oh, you're so oh, damn oh, right. Only 2024, because 2024 isn't here yet. If this was, if this was November 16th, 20, like I'm sorry, y'all, this is recording on Thursday, but if this was November 16th, 2024. I would say, yeah, say 2025 is your year. No, 2024 Claim is gonna it. be your year. You're gonna get booked mm -hmm. 50 times in, in January, 60 times. Oh, I just hurt myself. 60 times in February, and then who knows, <laughs> whatever. You own know that, what? You're own, so own damn that. right. You gotta I'm gonna own, own it. it. I'm gonna claim it because look, you're so right. There's something so powerful about speaking into the world what your successes are gonna be and like what you're gonna manifest. Like I really do think like your words have power. And you're so right. I should have said 2014 is gonna be my or 2024. 2014. 2014 Jesus Christ. Back 2014 time. was not my year, everyone. 2024 oh. is gonna be my year, and so is 2025, and so is 2026, and so on. Because I'm a bad bitch, and you're so right. Well, you well, I would say 2025 may also be your year, but on 2024, own that because I'm a, like you, you like I'm a claim it. Because once 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 you like uh, just let 2024 go go by the haywire, you know you're missing out on so much crap you could do. Oh no, could, I have no could, plans could just to slow them. down. No plans to yeah, slow down now. whatsoever. Speed up. Speed up. I am speed only right. speeding up and the You're, calendar shows. Let's be the, let's be the flash, you know? <laughs> I, I am trying. If I, you know how Hermione and Harry Potter had that time turner? I almost wish I had a time turner lately so I could do more scenes. I could just like reverse time and be in two places oh. at one time. Okay, okay. this is my it's nerd awesome. coming up. My nerd coming up. Why did they only use that in one movie? That's a great damn question. Didn't she get it taken away or something? No, no, yeah. Was, I don't think she got taken away. She only used it in one movie. I'm um, I, I think he told her that there was a risk to it. I don't remember. But, but I, I know she only used it in one one day movie. And I'm like, okay, you have this thinking. <clears throat> that is pretty true, though. Yeah, there were a lot of moments that she could have used that there on out. Like a lot. Um, exactly. And the way I think about it is like anime is when they introduce something, it's meant to, so they can keep using it. But it's, they only use it for that one like movie slash book. That's mm -hmm. so interesting. <laughs> now yeah. I have something to randomly Google for the next hour. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was I thinking. just, I just, I just put something in your brain that's going to be in there like, here, here we, here we sit. <laughs> I mean, I mean someone, someone else might have asked the same darn question, but it's on that's, Reddit somewhere. that's that's one of the things that just sits with me because I'm thinking I was thinking about uh, the other day because they're doing a uh, they're doing it again like a, but they're doing it into a series. So each season is going to be uh, a chapter of the book rather than doing a whole movie. And I'm wondering how they're going to do that. And I was thinking about are they going to introduce it and what is going to be their way to say oh. We're not going to use this time thingy. Because that, that'll be what, season three? I'm trying to think what the book is in. 
So they're, no they're blurring together in my head. I just know they're in long movies. <laughs> I also didn't know they were making a series. Yeah, they're doing a series. Yeah, so, me neither. Let it, things die. I'm of the opinion we should just let some things like ha- live their time, die. Yeah. And not- well, I, I, I like it for what like a few different reasons, and it's because like a lot of the stuff that is in the book that explains a lot of the stuff that yeah. isn't in the movies makes uh, makes it make a lot more sense. Yeah, I would agree. The That's books true. definitely if they include more from the books, I might be sold. Like uh <laughs> like be, like what what's your house? Like what? Do you know your house? Do you know? Oh, no. our Hogwarts houses? Yeah, your house, your your house, yeah. I know um, my Hogwarts houses. Yeah. What is I it? don't mind. I'm a I'm a Hufflepuff. See, me too. So yeah. So in the in the, in the in the in the in the books and like in the in the TV show, they're gonna expand more on the Hufflepuff house, the uh Ravenclaw. Because they're house. baddies. We are yeah, blokey I'm a, baddies. Yeah, I'm a I am a I am a like i every time I'm taking the test, it's always Hufflepuff. And it's like if they give you a list of like your houses in order. And like the only the only thing that switches is like number two is either Ravenclaw or number two is Slytherin. I'm all like my level four is always Gryffindor because I'm so I'm the opposite of Gryffindor. <laughs> you said, I'm not running into no burning buildings for no children. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. I mean, I won't run in, but I will. I will try to figure a way that we could. Uh, you like call nine one one for sure. Yes. Like call the fire department. I would, I would, I would be the t- strategic mind. Like yes. This is how we can, we can go in, like exactly. You're out. not trying to be the hero. You can go in second. there, run in there, get them out, and come back, and I'll deal with like you know the healing process. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hufflepuffs have value. If this show will portray that, I'll watch it. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and that's what it's for. It's, it's to expand <laughs> on every house and every story that isn't in there. That's exciting. Like why? Like why? Yeah. Why is Hagrid hiding hiding a spider? That isn't mentioned until that movie, you know. Oh yeah, that is true. So, mm. wait, so, Sarah, what's your Hogwarts house? Oh, Gryffindor. Oh, you a baddie, baddie. Yeah. Oh, no, you a baddie, baddie. <laughs> I feel like what that really means is more that I'm reckless as opposed to. <laughs> You I'm just docked on your own Hogwarts house so hard. Yeah, I'm like, surprised. I'm uh, surprised you aren't you aren't Ravenclaw. Huh? And I, I only I only like say I only say this because time. I only say this because I I know that Miss Lazy enjoys to read, and that is one of the biggest things that they do in Ravenclaw. Maybe I have to retake the test. We'll see. <laughs> We but, all gotta retake it and reconvene. Yeah, I've, I've, I've always. Because I mean, like you change as a person as you age, so maybe I've changed. You should try I'm it again. Still... Actually, I'm still reckless. <laughs> Same. I'm still reckless, and I'm like, babe, watch this. <laughs> I'm that person. I love my train of thought there because there was something else that you had said that I wanted to hit on, and then I went down the whole Harry Potter thingy. Uh, darn it, it's gone now. Because she gave her three points. She gave her gave her, her her music, her poetry, and the other things she said I wanted to hit on, but her it's gone kinks. now. Huh? Her kinks. That was oh, the three. Have you taken? Have you taken the the king test? Oh my oh. god, absolutely yes. I wonder if I can find a screenshot. I have a lot of porn saved in my phone now. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, I, feel believe, that. I believe most performers do. And mm-hmm. it's just there randomly. Yeah, that's so true. We have so much random porn. I feel like sometimes I forget what content I have. And I end up thinking that I don't have enough content. And then I go back and I'm like, oh yeah, I could have uploaded that. Yeah, I think the last time I took it was uh twenty twenty one, and I believe I had I had two one hundred percent. 
And that's what oh, yeah, I have like a 98%. I can't find it because when I search kink in my phone, apparently there's too many photos with the word kink in it, which makes sense again, because it's a porn star's phone. I think, but, I, think uh, I, moved, I think I moved mine into a separate folder simply smart. because I feel I like I always wanted to show people like what, like how, like how weird I am sometimes. Organized. You're right? Oh. You you have you have you have those weird things in your in your in your uh, specialty. I'm like, yeah. I feel like people's kinks may be able to say a lot about them if we're able to interpret it properly. Yeah, and with nuance, and also mm-hmm. for the way they change. Because mine, I just did the kink test again a couple months ago with my boyfriend because I wanted to compare. You know, I'm like, yeah. let's see. And like, I hadn't done it in years. And like, all of a sudden, I'm way more dominant than I was submissive. And it's been showing up in my work, which is really exciting. Um, but like, I had no idea. I used to be, I'm still very submissive at heart. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm submissive. I can be a little bit of a pillow princess. But like, this dom side of me is like revving and like ready to get out. And I never, like, it's so interesting to see like the charted map using yeah. those kink quizzes. I just, I just, I just looked at my, That's hot. like, my, my dominant is 16%. <laughs> Is fifteen percent? Sixteen. The dominant. Uh, your dominant is sixteen. My 16%? dominant is sixteen percent. Oh, exactly. Her knowing me, that makes sense. <laughs> like my 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 masochist and my rope buddy bunny is one hundred percent. Oh, you are. <laughs> my submission. My submission is ninety seven, and my voyeur is eighty nine. You are a blast in a glass. See, that's my my dominance and like my like, you know, brat tamer and all of those things kind of skyrocketed in the last year or two. And now I'm like, where are all the people at that want to be like, I need me some of that. <laughs> my bread tamer. Maybe this is why it's good to compare them, you know. My bread tamer is 6%. Exactly. <laughs> my bread tamer is 6%. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, I need to I need to retake mine. I haven't taken mine in forever. I yeah, this, like one, I this, one, this one says December twentieth, twenty twenty one. Wow, you okay. are organized. You are organized. Oh no, no, I, no I, just, I just had it. I just had. I just had it saved. Right? No, it's it's saved in a a folder of like red, like of like pictures. We were just to upload, and like the only things in here. Are pictures that I've taken of uh, around the house of people like my favorites of them, and then it's that picture. So that's the only reason I have it. Like, that's only, a funny like, place to have it saved. It's only by it's like it's called organization. There's like eighty, like eighty pictures in here. So organization. That's insane. That's, how he still is able to find it so quick. I could not. You know, I gave up. I was like, I have sixteen thousand photos. Well, I, I, I knew it was in a small album. Like that. <laughs> exactly. I knew it. I knew it wasn't a small album, so that's how I knew it was. It couldn't be in like my album for like you know Instagram posts because that has over. A I'm lot. never gonna find nothing in that album. Yeah, yeah, that's too much. <laughs> I felt like. Let me see. What does mine say? I'm curious now. <laughs> Fifteen thousand six hundred photos just on my phone gallery and two thousand. Yep. Videos. Yep. Well, yep. I have, have, have right. 8,710 <laughs> pictures in my camera. So that's what I'm saying. Like, when I look at my camera, 8,710, <laughs> I am not going to find it. But in like some of these photos, it says like three or 33 or 14. <laughs> so I can find stuff in those. Wow. I feel like I need another phone that's just for personal stuff because I feel like at this moment, I only have one phone. And Same. it's like I have both like my porn and my personal stuff all in one phone. And it's hard to it's kind of hard to organize that, you know, like I literally, next to family pics is kind of awkward. I <laughs> was just talking about this last night. I actually like I use pineapple support to utilize therapy. I love pineapple support. They offer free therapy and counseling to sex workers. Um, but I was just talking to my therapist about that. And I was like, you know, I think actually I should get a second phone because I think it would really help with my work-life balance. Right. And like, Mm -hmm. also, yeah, you can't really like show people photos on your phone. Like my background is my tits. Like 
Exactly. <laughs> no, I can't show anyone my phone. <laughs> I feel it's, like that's one of the hard parts. I know it's for some to separate. I know for some of my albums, because I have I have a generic like my um nieces that have my as my cover, but like some of my albums I changed the profile picture so it's not the last picture I took or what Oh you can it, do that? Yeah. Oh that's so, cool. Yeah, so, so it's not the last picture <laughs> I took. <laughs> because be like funny. For because me. in that in that like when I look at that at the album that I was just talking about the uh, uh one I just looked at uh that says to upload whatever the one with the yeah it's a it's a whole bunch of pictures of like <laughs> the pictures I took of you in the shower the last oh, picture yeah. the, the last picture I added to this random picture was from the naked podcast so that would be Ooh. that would that would be the background because it goes by the last picture. But the picture How'd you of do it. That? Uh you have an iPhone. I don't have a drawing. Oh, oh I have to I have to oh. I have to look I have to look, I have to look at my iPhone to see if you can do it via via iPhone. Because that iPhones. would be a game changer. So I don't open up my phone gallery and it's just pussy hanging out all the time. Like I mean, I mean I'm I'm sure you can do it on an iPhone too. <laughs> but my iPhone, I know all my of us iPhones literally need to look at our phones. <laughs> have, no, my iPhone, my iPhone's in the living room right now. So I'll look. Like when we when we finish the podcast, and then I'll tell you how to do it. Uh, okay, yeah, we're all like oh, getting distracted. No, no, like, no, no, it's like, man, it's like you know, it's, it's a thing, and it's like because I know, like, since I don't, I don't really save a lot of nudity to my phone, but it's there. <laughs> it is there a lot, so just to make sure, like, it's not the main picture. Because I've, I've someone has gone through my pictures, and I say, look at your own risk. Literally, I, I tell everybody that. Like, because it's, it's not it's not a lot a lot of naked pictures of myself in there. Like it's only like one risk eight like like one or two risk eight pictures of myself in there. Ooh, but you know? if you if you uh, but if you uh go through it in general, you'll see pictures of everybody else that I yeah. get around that I work with, whatever pictures that I've taken, and it's just like. They're just like their foot behind foot behind their head, or whatever. And you can see it all. So it's kind of like, yeah. oh, that is that is a girl's vagina. Yep, yep, yep. So that would be a great feature to know about. <laughs> so what do you have coming up? We should look forward to that's coming out soon. Oh my god. So I just had my first POVR premium scene come out actually yesterday. So I've been super yeah. excited about that. Um as Sarah um, and I have worked on. We have a really cool uh, project coming out with Morgasm, which is like a reverse slow bang girl girl orgy with an incredible cast. I've seen it. Um, so that's coming well, out. That's, soon. I haven't seen it, but I've seen the picture for it. Yeah, the pictures yeah. look fire. It was fire. I was like, I could do this every day of my career, actually. This is great. Um, I am going to be do, uh, doing some international travel next year, which I'm super excited about. I'll be traveling to see, see, hold on. See, 2024 is your year. It is my year. I'm, I'm, right. I'm, 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 I'm going international next year, but I'm saying 2025 is my year. You know, even though I'm going international, I'm about to have some inter, 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 international sex. You know they they <laughs> they, they, they 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 only they only they only flying me to uh wherever country you're going to to show my <laughs> to, to, to show my skills quote unquote skills you know you know but <laughs> hey but you know what twenty twenty four is not my year that, that's that's twenty twenty four is my year you're so right I'm going <laughs> yeah. to I'm gonna have the great opportunity to go to Budapest Prague and Barcelona what's up? um. I'm going to be in a few upcoming scenes like Cream by Kathy, um, some more browsers, extra roles. I have another Blush Erotica solo scene coming out soon. A lot of fun jerk off instruction videos coming out soon. Um, really, there's a lot of cool studio scenes that are cooking right now and even more that are in the talks, hopefully even bigger and, you know, like wider known. So definitely stay tuned because there's some really exciting stuff coming out very soon. That's what's up. I'm glad That's that awesome. uh, you have a lot coming up because I know like it's always a grind. It's always it's a, grind. a grind. And uh, once you get stuff going, it's fantastic. You know. And um, yeah, once you get the momentum, the momentum like you have to carry it. Like. 
the consistency is key. And like, if you hit them like a stride, like you just can't let up, which is like a lesson I've definitely learned and like, you know, managing my like self care so that I can maintain this energy. But yeah, I am really grateful for the opportunities I've been blessed with. And I'm really grateful to see what comes to fruition as a result. That's amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, this code is going to kill me. But yeah. <laughs> so I look forward to everything that you put out there because I feel that through this conversation, you are a fun, you are a fun, fun person. And I look forward to all that you uh that you 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 know you just do because you know it's I see I see the light coming for you in 2024. 2024. That's yeah. right. And uh I wish you all the best. We have reached the end though, but so I want you to tell everybody where they can find you, where they can support you, where they can buy your content and everything. Yes, of course. So you can find me on Twitter at Nina Nova XOXO. And you can find all my links at allmylinks.com slash Nina Nova XOXO. So find my many vids, find my OnlyFans, find all my platforms, all my socials there. And always feel free to send me a DM if you're looking for a bundle deal or customs, and I can direct you to the right place. Awesome. And, buy, and buy, buy a whole bunch of customs, y'all, because you know what you enjoy more than she knows what you enjoy. So you tell her you would you you yeah. want her to do you know five backflips and then like just you know squat on the dick that <laughs> hey that's what you enjoy and she will try to do that for you the best that she can and Absolutely. you know I'll do my best and then, and then, and then, and then <laughs> you'll, you'll 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 get your rocks off and it's personal for you whatever so I'm just telling you go ahead and do that mm -hmm. do that custom stuff. Miss Lace, Miss Lace, where, 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 can I find, where can I find you? <laughs> so you can find all of my links on imsarahlace.com. Uh, that can, includes Twitter, Instagram, everything else. <laughs> so you can find, um, ah, I just broke something. You can find the podcast at uh, Murray and Mrs. on Instagram, the Murray and Mrs. on, um, that is so wrong. The Murray oh. Mrs. on Instagram. <laughs> Burbank Misfits on Twitter, BurbankMisfits.com is uh, for the main thing that uh, we all do. Um, I am R A W S T A R R on Twitter and on Instagram. And also, again, uh, Ms. Nina, you are a gem. You are fantastic. I look forward to all that you that you will bring uh, for the next year and all the awards that you will get from doing your thing, from doing all the stuff you do in 2024. And we're going to speak all of it into fruition. So thank you so again. much. And uh, everybody, <laughs> we will see you all next week. And uh, yeah. <laughs>